Daniel Daniel here to bring you the latest fantasy news. And right away, new Wheel of Time book covers have been announced. This is likely due to the overall rise in popularity of the series, with the upcoming television show and frequent chatter online, as well as several YouTubers promoting it. Work with me. Robert Jordan's epic seems to be slowly making its way to an all-time high. We have even seen it crawl up the r slash fantasy greatest series of all time poll, one of the largest forums for fantasy fans online. It jumped up seven spots, now comfortably within the top five, and possibly more notably winning a recent poll from Amazon Studios asking their audience what upcoming television show they're producing are people most looking forward to, something that I'm sure made waves. A television adaptation overall increased awareness and popularity, it seems the Wheel of Time might be crawling its way into the mainstream zeitgeist. And I'm aware it's already very well known within fantasy circles, but not to your average Joe Blow. In other fantasy news, an upcoming Dresden Files TV show was confirmed by Jim Butcher. It will be created by the same team who did the Power Rangers movie. What is happening? Hello and welcome. This is Murphy Murphy filling in for Daniel Daniel. In this week, fantasy news, we have the casting for Ariel in the Little Mermaid live action remake for Disney. It's a little bit controversial. Some people like her, some people don't. It's very split. There is a right way to react, which I won't comment on, but she's great for the role. Next, we have Neil Gaiman, who answers some questions about the Netflix adaptation for San Sandman. I wrote Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> You know which can buy, man. Um, and uh, he just wanted to let us know that it is the largest budget for any DC TV project yet. He says it will be over 50 hours long. He said more than that. The first season would only be preludes and nocturnes and a bit more. We're all going to pretend we know what that means because I certainly do. Next we have J.A. Biona, that's the correct pronunciation, whatever he says is wrong. Uh, he is to direct the first two episodes of the Lord of the Rings adaptation. What are you doing? Just, and then Game of Thrones prequel, we'll be no. filming in Italy. No. Welcome to another actual new fantasy news. Star Trek season three at CBS All Access will begin filming. I personally thought this was going to be dead, but it's nice to see the sci-fi classic have some life still in it. Although I do agree with Red Letter Media's assessment that this series is probably not profitable for CBS yet. They're probably doubling down, hoping their upcoming projects related to the IP will actually bring them the success this series has failed to so far. Bill and Ted 3 has begun filming. Most excellent. The first images for the upcoming War of the Worlds adaptation, which I did not even know was happening, have been released. The Walking Dead comic series will officially end with the release of issue 190. Three. Rafe Judkins, the showrunner for The Wheel of Time, did a Q&A where he talked about the casting process of Rosamund Pike for the iconic role of Moraine. I will link to it down below, but the gist of it is she's a really good fit for the part, and we should be excited, so... that's good. And finally, John Scalzi's Old Man's War adaptation is a beginning over at Netflix. Let's just be real, you're not as good at this as me. <laughs> Back to the news. I have more interesting things to talk about than Daniel does anyway. Harry Potter prequel rumors have been squashed by Daniel Ratcliffe himself, who apparently was the one that started the rumors accidentally, but he says, not gonna happen. Some people are happy, some people are sad, most people are just tired of it. Another Dune project is in the works, says Brian Herbert. All he said was that he has signed a contract. We don't know if the new Dune project is another adaptation, if it's another book. We don't know. So it's not really that good of news. Pacific Rim anime, which again, we're pretending we know what that is, is set to uh, come out in 2020, and we're all really excited. I have Cosmere news. <laughs> we can discuss that one together. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So, the company that previously bought the rights for Brandon Sanderson to do Cosmere adaptations was DMG. A lawsuit has been filed by Chris Fenton, the former head of the company, a $30 million lawsuit, cha-ching. And what us fantasy fans actually care about is the fact that DMG owned the rights to the Cosmere adaptations, and this likely means in the future we will be seeing the Cosmere rights revert back to Brandon Sanderson and not be held by a company that was essentially driven into the ground. How would you like to see the Cosmere adapted? I want Mistborn first. 
Mistborn first. I agree with that largely. I think trilogy of movies is the way to go for Mistborn. I would agree. I yeah. think that it could easily be made into movies. Yeah. I think that it's, well, as you say, it's the most adaptable of Sanderson's works. By far. Um, though we have other shorter stories you could even start with. You could start with a Warbreaker and Elantris, even Emperor's Soul, like short to get people interested. I would like to see Warbreaker closer to if and when we adapt Stormlight since it's meant to be a prequel. Yeah, there's the weird connection there. But I think it would work as a Warbreaker movie and then Stormlight TV series. Yeah, Stormlight you can't do as a series of movies because it'd be yeah. like, what, 10, 10 movies? That's 10 hour not long movies, each one. That's not happening. So yes, let's let's go. It's official. We're declaring it here on this episode of Fantasy News. There will be a trilogy of Mistborn movies and a Stormlight TV series. This is factual. It's 100% happening. But yes, really, DMG is going under and the Cosmere rights might soon be up for grabs. And I've personally been shocked that we have not seen a Mistborn adaptation announced with the literally 100 plus IPs that have been bought and are now being adapted. So I'm very excited to see Cosmere enter the ring and be one of the heavyweights that could actually draw some serious hype. That is the only bit of fantasy news that we did not make up. <laughs> Did you see that r slash uh, fantasy put out their top 100 fantasy series? I and, saw you review it. Yeah. And Brandon was in like, he was in the top 50 like four times and he was in the top 10 twice. So I don't understand how his stuff has not been in the process of being adapted. It does not make sense. Well, just sense. because the other place owned. I right, guess. Hey? I guess. Hey, my theory was right. My theory during my live stream or Daniel Green's theory during his live stream, 100% right. This has been fantasy news. We're good at our jobs. This is Murphy Murphy. I'm Daniel Daniel. We hope you have enjoyed this one. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>